this new uh, session. Uh, there is a little update on uh, JupyterLab requirements uh, extension. And specifically, we introduced two features um, that were requested, one from uh, AIOps team, because they were basically creating a lot of kernels using this uh, uh, extension. And then they wanted to have an easy way to delete uh, basically the kernels without going to the terminal and look for these kernels and then, net, and then delete them. And the second feature is related to actually basically introduce the same functionality that Tamos has. So JupyterLab requirements allows you to ask for an advice, but you cannot uh, force that. Uh, so we wanted to introduce also that the functionality for the users to do that. And that is quite uh, straightforward. So um, we basically added to the UI a new parameter is basically showing if you are using that or not. And uh, that would basically give you the same uh, uh, functionality. On the background, basically, Tamos will have uh, the parameter set to true or false, depending on the user request. And then you can just install it, basically. The second feature, instead, is something that uh, we introduced here in the menu. So the we wanted to have an, a way to see all the kernels and just select them and delete them. Uh, the idea was to have it uh, uh, directly in the kernel, uh, as is basically done in uh, JupyterLab. So we would have basically delete kernel, a new. Uh, but uh, this was uh, something not. Uh, I mean, that we not find a solution at the moment. We are, we ask uh, upstream how they would. Uh, how we could do that. So basically adding a new parameter to some JupyterLab uh, uh, API already. But at the moment, we just uh, created a new uh, menu. So you can just go to dependencies and do kernel delete. And that is quite straightforward. Basically, we list the available kernels that uh, are provided or created by the users. But there can be a lot of them. And then you can just uh, select one and delete it. Then you will get also a message here. The kernel is deleted, and then it won't be there anymore. So you can do them with all. Uh, the only kernel that is not allowed to be deleted is the default one, the Python 3 one. That will be uh, the one that is created when you create uh, JupyterLab. And that's it. Any questions? Otherwise, uh, thank you, and I will stop the recording.